Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is an intumescent cataract. Let us observe this real-time surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at around 11 o'clock. And now a side port about 3 clock hours away from the main incision on the left side and only one side port has been made in this case. <coughs> An air bubble has been injected underneath this air bubble this is tripan blue dye staining the anterior capsule of this intumescent cataract. This is a bit of adrenaline and now the dye is washed out. Then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected to fill up the anterior chamber. Now in this case this is SPMC over the cornea. In this case I am using uh, uterata forceps for doing the rexis. the uterata forceps makes a puncture and a C flap is raised. This C flap is converted into a small rexis, into a mini rexis. And now some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated by this 23 gauze Simco cannula. There should not be elevations anywhere but in this case there were some elevations still there in the upper part. So I have to be very careful while mobilizing the capsular tag while enlarging this mini rexis into an optimum sized rexis. Visco a vana scissor is taken and a nick is made at the margin of this small rexis. The uterata forceps is taken again and this small rexis is converted into an optimum size trixis of about 5.5 millimeters and it has been nicely done. So the most difficult part of intumescent cataract that is the rexis has been done and nicely and now nucleus management. You can see that the nucleus is not soft, it is quite hard. Nucleus sclerosis is about grade 4. I am going to employ my technique which I call submarine job. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision. It goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator, towards 5 o'clock. And this is a nice crack 180 degree rotation and the two pieces are completely separated so in this technique you don't have to make a trench you can just go through the substance of the nucleus and divide the nucleus completely into two halves in most of the cases one heminucleus has been divided into two pieces and it is managed the other heminucleus is mobilized it is rotated, kept in front of the feco needle and it is chopped into two pieces and now these two pieces are emulsified. Artesanic energy used in this case is 70%, flow rate is 40 ml per minute, vacuum is 400 mm of mercury. This is Faro's from Oakley, Switzerland. This is the last piece. At this time, I decrease the parameters. Vacuum 250, flow rate 25. 
and the last piece is emulsified sifu. And now cortical cleanup. The cortex is firmly adherent to the periphery of the posterior capsule and the anterior capsularity. I am using this instrument, this is a 23 gauze Simco to remove the cortex. Most of the cortex can be removed, but some stubborn cortical matter which is it is firmly adherent to the posterior capsule cannot be removed by this instrument. <coughs> In this case, I am using the irrigation cannula of bimanual IA and separating the cells from the posterior capsule. Once this is done, I'll use the Simco again, bit of Visco is used so that the <coughs> antechamber remains formed for some time quite well and the cortical matter is removed nicely now. Go through the side port and remove the cortex from 10 o'clock and 9 o'clock. And thus the cortex has been nicely removed. If you don't have this instrument you can use coaxial IA or hybrid irrigation aspiration. And now implantation of an intraocular lens. The main incision is enlarged a little bit because the cartridge is a whiteboard cartridge, a B cartridge. And the lens goes into the capsular bag. The antechamber is irrigated nicely so that whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge comes out. The lens is the optic of the lens is nicely overlapped by the anticapsular rim. This is a bit of moxie, and now the side port is closed by hydrogen cornea stroma on either side of it. And at the end a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. Then the antechamber is formed very nicely. This is some more polishing of the intercapsular rim. Now the antechamber is formed very nicely and the surgery is concluded. So thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in managing your intermittent cataracts. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.